Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to give you guys a three weeks postpartum clothing haul. I did purchase a few clothing items right before I gave birth um, just for a little bit of motivation um, to get me back in shape. I'm going to go ahead and do a try on haul for you guys. I did have a c-section literally three weeks ago. This is what my body is looking like. I'm going to set you guys up right here. So as you can tell, I am not the skinniest, but um, I do see a lot of improvement from just having a c-section three weeks ago. So with C-sections, you cannot work out or wear fajas because you literally have an incision. So this is what I look like with jeans on. I do have loose skin. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys because this is the reality of what my pregnancy is and my postpartum journey consists of. I do have loose skin. I do have a few stretch marks I'm working with. Um, but this is my reality of three weeks postpartum. Every outfit I have today, I'm going to be trying on with these jeans and I'm also going to be trying on the same exact shirts with a pair of leggings that I bought with these clothes. Instead of trying on shoes, I'm just going to put up the shoes and show you guys, okay, like I would wear this outfit with these shoes because taking on or off shoes would just be a lot of work. And just so you guys know, I got everything that I'm wearing, everything that I'm trying on today off of the clearance section. I love shopping in the clearance section, sell section, that is my section. This is the first outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the jeans. These are the jeans. Okay, so for this outfit, I would go ahead and pair it with Docs or with my Air Forces. Everything that you see that I'm gonna be wearing today, I'm either gonna be putting on Docs, Air Forces, or a pair of Nikes that my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. Okay, so this is outfit number two. I did go ahead and sh uh, change where the camera is set up at just so you guys can get a little bit more of a clearer view. I would honestly pair this outfit with Doc Martens, My Forces, or these Nike shoes. They're very cute. They have a pink Nike logo. On to outfit number three. So this is outfit number three. I kind of can't let my hands go because I do need to wear some nipple coverings. This shirt is a little see-through. But nonetheless, I do think this top is super cute. I'll probably pair this outfit with my Air Forces. This is what the fourth outfit looks like. I am not used to tops like these. I'm putting a lot of trust into this top, like too much trust. It kind of makes me uncomfortable. It does fit a little um, awkward on me just because this string just kind of looks awkward. I would go ahead and pair this outfit with these Doc Martens. So this is outfit number five. As you can tell, I do have these cute leggings that I got from Garage on the clearance section. This is what they look like. And as you can tell, I do have this shirt on that I put on earlier. You guys can see the outline of where my underwear sit, where they kind of go, it kind of goes into my stomach a little bit, but that's okay. I would pair this outfit with these cute Nike shoes. I'm just going to show you guys really cute. Look at how cute these shoes are. I got them for Valentine's Day. Because my boyfriend loves me. Sometimes. <laughs> this outfit would actually also look cute with my forces and my docs. I'm telling you, like, forces, docs, and those shoes, like, feel like you can kind of match everything with those shoes. Like, it's, it's kind of universal. Okay, now we're back with outfit number six. Again, with these cute leggings that I got from Garage on clearance. I would pair this outfit with Docs and my Air Forces. And last but not least, this is outfit number seven. I'm back in the first shirt that I showed you guys, but with different pants on. I do think this is cute. I would pair this outfit with my Doc Martens. Okay, so that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope if you guys are going through postpartum depression or if you just had a baby and your body just doesn't look the same, um, I hope you guys realize that it's okay, it's completely normal. I hope you guys aren't too hard on yourselves. Um, I do have my moments where I get a little upset, I do get a little sad because obviously my body's different, it's not the same as what it was before I had a baby. But we just have to remember, you know, our, our bodies grew um, a beautiful human being, like and I look at my baby and I, I see my baby and I think I wouldn't trade it for the world. We just have to learn how to appreciate our bodies 
and we have to learn how to see our changes as you know like just beautiful like just beautiful changes like this is what my body had to go through to give me the biggest blessing of my life but so obviously as you guys saw my body is not the same as it used to be but i just want to be very honest and real with you guys i want to be you know just as transparent as possible because i know that my body is not the same uh, but it is the reality of my pregnancy and my postpartum and i hope this helps you guys feel a little bit less alone if you do feel a little alone um, through the process if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i hope you guys find this video motivating enough to share it with other moms um if this is the situation you're in and you know just to help each other you know hold each other's hands and and let each other know that you are beautiful you created a human being your body is literally a temple you are beautiful with that being said, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.